Hi guys, it's Jill, and uh, today we're going to talk about uh, tech. Did you like my picture of Taylor Smith? Yep. I went to the barn and rode and got helmet hair. It's This video has been extremely highly requested. Everybody has just been like, hey, what you use? And people ask me all the time, what brand saddle, what brand bridle, breastplate, all of this. So, let me get started. So, let's get started. <laughs> First up is my dressage bridle. Um, it is a Vespucci Voyager. It's got a crank nose band. It's just like the most pliable leather ever. But the light's a little better. All right, these are the only kind of reins that I can ride in just because I'm super, super picky about them. I hate the ones that have like the little stoppers here and there. It never fails that the stopper is never at the right place. Another dressage bit. It's a loose ring. I forget. I don't know what level is. this is. It says 13A. So Google that. This is my jump bridle and uh, it doesn't have the bit on it because I use the same dressage bit for jumping uh, just because Zoe doesn't doesn't need anything strong or a different bit. This is a Bobby's English Tack Bridle. And again, favorite reins because they're brilliant and I love it. It's got like really awesome stitching on it. It's just, just a fancy plain bridle. You can... The last bit of, uh, I guess, stringy tack. It's the Harwich breastplate. It's simple three point. It connects to your D-rings or D-savers on my saddle. I really would like to get some clips so that I don't have to do this every time, but... Oh my god, it focused on it for a second. And at the end it says Harwich on it. Why am I holding it like this? Is that it? Thick tack. I have these bad boys that are very, very dirty. This is the total saddle fit. Girth. I've got both the brown and black. They go on like this, uh, like horse armpit being here and then like hind end going that way. They're like the Fairfax, except they're like a third of the price. And um, it allows the saddle to shift a little bit back, not like shift around, but like instead of the traditional position, the saddle is a little bit more back so that the um, shoulder has full clearance and your saddle isn't uh, impairing any of the movement. Okay, on to the saddles. The first saddle is a Stackhouse saddle. I absolutely, absolutely love the saddle. I've had it for three, four, three years. Three, two or three years. And um, I got it for Christmas. That's <laughs> all I got for Christmas that year. And uh, it's really gorgeous. It came with this nice little saddle cover. And this is what it looks like. Um, it's abs absolutely a gorgeous saddle, and I'm very, very fortunate to have the saddle. Like, um, I also ride in Lorenzini's, which cost me like two paychecks because um, my ankles hyperflex real bad. Uh, the wider base. I use the wider base uh, because it gives my foot more support. And D savers, and then my uh, Pro 2. Air vest attachment. I'll look under there. I think these are black country leathers that I bought from a friend. And uh, yeah, it's a mono flap. He's gorgeous. I love it. Last but certainly not least is my Stackhouse dressage saddle. I forgot to say this about my job. Both saddles are custom made to me and bow, but we had the Stackhouse's fit or see if the trees fit Zoe. Jump fits perfect, and this needs a fleece pad underneath it. Other than that, you're good. Oh. I absolutely love it. I have really crappy stirrup leathers and stirrups on it, um, just because I can't afford another Lauren's Zoom's right now, but like, uh, the stirrup leathers are like basically brown, but you know what, my leg covers that, so it's fine. All that and the girths all have come from Zoe's owner, Lori Thompson, and I <laughs> could not be more grateful for all of the tack that she has provided me and allowed me to ride Zoe in so that I didn't have to change all bows, misfitting bridles and everything. And uh, then my two saddles came from my wonderful parents that were just 
God, I'm just really, really grateful. I have a lot of amazing opportunities and a lot of really awesome stuff. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a comment. What's your, um, I guess I can't say favorite piece of my tech. That's, that's vain. <laughs> favorite food that's all I got it. hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you leave a comment about your favorite food and uh, make sure you hit that like button make a YouTube account and subscribe to me because that's all you need in life because I'll send you emails when I update or upload 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 the videos so make sure you subscribe so you guys enjoy this video and I I just really hope you enjoy it because I'm hard and it's really nice to see you guys love this video.